Well, here's one, Diflucan. Who names these things? Diflucan, my goodness. Generic names even worse, fluconazole. Well, and here, and some of these do this for you. It makes it simpler. There, right there in dead center on the front of the label, it tells you the dosage strength after you reconstitute it. Well, you have to hunt around and say, well, how much diluent do I add? Well, look over here. And let me explain this briefly. It says to the pharmacist, wait a minute. I thought you were doing this. In the real world these days, you work in a hospital, let's say. A lot of these medications like this, they'll be mixed up for you in the pharmacy. And they come to you already mixed up and already done. But you still, even if they come most of the time already done by somebody in the pharmacy, you need to know how to do these yourself. So, to the nurse, <clears throat> we add, well, here we go. We add 24 milliliters of sterile water to the bottle. So that's the amount of diluent that you add. And then once you do that, that's the dosage strength. Now I'm not going to, on most of these from now on, do a dosage calculation problem. But you can do them yourself. Whatever the order is, you put the order over one, and then there's a dosage strength. You put the 10 milligrams on the bottom, the one milliliter on the top, you do the dosage calculation. One more time, cautions. This tells you how much is in the bottle. There's 35 milliliters of liquid after you reconstitute it. That number's not there in the dosage calculation. The amount of the diluent, 24, that's not in the dosage calculation either. All you need to know is once you're given your order, that's the dosage strength. That's the numbers you use in the dosage calculation problem, 10 milligrams per milliliter. So you're told how much do you want to add? You're told how strong it is once it's mixed up? That's all you need to know to do the problem.